What up, y'all? Rap Critic here. And this was an indie request by Marcus. And if you'd like me to review your music or have any other requests, go to ko-fi.com slash rapcritic. Just as a heads up, though, everything except the music stream requests are currently pretty backed up, so if you want a request to happen sooner than later, then that's your best bet. Or just donate what you want and don't make a request, you know, that's cool too. Well, let's get to today's request for evidence by Method of Gravity. Apparently, they're working on a whole space opera of these music videos telling a greater story about the characters' adventures, so let's see what our intrepid hero gets up to in this one. Okay, you know, for an independently animated music video, this doesn't look too bad. Certainly better looking than some mainstream animated music videos I could name. So, uh, let's see where this goes. Now could you tell me what you said last night? Cause I was too gonna try and answer you right. And I've been thinking about it ever since. No, I just need a bit of evidence. Okay, so the, the vocals are a little abrasive, but hey, I hear what they're going for musically. It's that kind of industrial rock rap energy, like whatever the hell genre that mindless self-indulgence cover of Method Man's Bring the Pain was supposed to be. Now, monetary budget aside, because I understand not everyone's got it like that, so of course sound quality I can forgive to a certain extent, but at the same time, there's things you can do to best make your music palatable to someone whose ears are going to be unfamiliar with your style. For one, work a little on balancing out the gain of the vocals with the beat. Right now, they're really overpowering what sounds like some pretty interesting spaced out cyberpunk beat work. And second, you're anticipating the beat too much. You gotta make sure the words flow with the rhythm so that they don't sound rushed and... Uh, oh man, it's hard to do this and not feel like the guy from Whiplash right now. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. But you get what I mean when you hear some of the music. I've never been the to leave the whole world behind. Now I'm on the bus to find who I can trust. Feels like they didn't really match the tone of the track with their vocals. And I don't just mean atmosphere wise, I mean like their voice comes off like they didn't really take time to listen to the feel of the music to make sure it matched not just the rhythm but the actual timbre of the track. So it feels like the voice is just kind of flailing in the wind, not really anchored to the key or groove of the music. And am I mistaken or is there auto tune in this? I've never been the kind to leave the whole damn world behind. Trust. But the vocals aren't really attempting to match the pitches in the music, so what is the autotune pitch correcting to? And unfortunately, it gets worse in the verses. Like often, I, I just can't hear what dude's saying. Lost all perspective when it all feels the same. When it would it be wrecked if it was always just a game? And not in the cool way where your brain almost picks it up, but because you don't know a certain word, it makes you substitute one for another. No, it's in this way where every other line feels like a bluster of words barreling at your ear, doubled over by vocals that are often not in sync, so they just sound like a slapped together Tasmanian double cloud of words. Yeah, man, I, 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 I give up. Seriously, I, I gotta start requiring lyric sheets with these indie requests, because honestly, I want to give people a chance by giving them points for what they're saying, but uh, this is the only way I can experience the track. I, I gotta be real about how I'm experiencing it. And I want to give it props for what I can hear with uh, how there sounds like there's themes of loneliness and confusion about who to trust in your life. But while there are more lyrics that come through in the second verse, it's still a janky listen to constantly hear his flow not fitting in with the rhythm of the music. We've all got our own flavor of hypocrisy, so I guess I'll see you later when you finish mocking me. And it's like, oh man, I'm not trying to make fun of it's just that where the answers on my sleep and don't seem to believe a thousand words away in space that look upon my weary face it's just that what the fuck did you just say? And when this keeps happening, it just pushes the ear away from actively wanting to listen, you know? So no hard feelings on this one, but I gotta give it a two out of five. The musicality is slipshod even by indie no budget standards, and while I warmed up to it a little bit on repeated listens once I could acclimate my ear and appreciate the sound he was going for, the flaws kept poking at my ears in ways that I couldn't deny. That said, his voice does have a pretty unique style of delivery to it, which could stand out if it's honed and mixed well enough, and I gotta say, the animated music video does look pretty cool, it's trippy and holds your attention, it kinda looks like Scott Pilgrim meets Star Trek or something, and apparently the artists who made the song did it all themselves, so I definitely gotta give them props on that. So I hope they keep doing their thing, cause I can honestly see the sparks of creativity to make inspired visuals and music. They just need some more time and resources, that's all. Well, that's the episode. And if you enjoyed the show and want to support, either go to Kofi for one-time donations and make requests, or Patreon to see all my material early and join the Rap Critic Patreon Discord. Don't have cash? That's cool. Just leave a like if you like, because it helps. Comment if you have something to say, because it helps even more. And hit the subscribe and the bell, because that's what helps the most. So consider doing all that stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>